So we're going to talk about mechanical advantage and just give you a little introduction into mechanical advantage. So if I was to walk up and show you this system right here, I've got a pulley up top and I'm going to lift right here. What do you think this system is? Okay, raise your hand if it's two to one. Okay, raise your hand one to one. What about three to one? Do you have no idea? Do you have any idea why it's a one to one or are you just guessing? Yes. Just guessing, okay. How much weight's right here? 20 pounds. 20 pound weight. If it was a two to one, how much would I be pulling right here? 10 pounds. I'd be pulling 10 pounds, okay. Well, I'm pulling 20 pounds. So we can, we can prove that by putting a little scale on it. The scale isn't the most accurate scale, it's just a cheap scale. So I'm going to pull on this, okay? Somebody want to come take a look? How much weight's there? No, you're looking at kilograms. Oh, 20. 20! 20 pounds! Try to question me. Alright, so 20 pounds. I pulled 20 pounds. So in other words, all I did is change the direction of the rope. Okay, like the old wells with the water, with the water uh, bucket that goes down, and then they pull it back up. The only advantage that this is doing for me is instead of reaching over and pulling up, now I'm over here and I can pull down. But I have no mechanical advantage in this system because this is a stationary pulley. It's not moving. Okay, the rope's going up, comes down. I pull six feet of rope. It moves six feet, one to one, okay? A lot of people, just like all of y'all did, just because we see pulleys, we think it has to do something. So all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flip this system. What is this system now? Anybody one to one? You got a one to one? Anybody else? Raise your, raise your hand, give me a one or a two. Okay, got about half and half. So just because I switched, flipped the system over, I've actually changed the system dramatically just by flipping it, okay? And to be honest, the first time somebody told me you flipped it and it changed, I thought they were wrong and I probably argued with them. So, but it actually changes the system. So now, I've got a, I've got a moving pulley. This pulley's gonna move. Somebody come up and grab this rope. Okay, pick up. How much weight's he holding? 10 pounds, each pound. How, 10 pounds? How much weight am I holding? 10 pounds. Okay, put it down. So I've just split this weight over two different ropes and I'm only holding 10 pounds now. Okay? Because this has distributed the weight between these two lines. So 10 pounds up there, 10 pounds here. I'm only pulling 10 pounds. Okay? For those of y'all who don't believe me, I don't blame you. Nothing wrong with that. We're going to take a look. Okay. Somebody come up and check. Probably. Can you read it? <laughs> 12 pounds. Okay. 10, 12 pounds, right? We know it's not 20. Okay. Like I said, this scale is not accurate. So I've just cut my weight in half. So what did old Isaac Newton say about for every action something? Equal and opposite reaction. So the universe isn't just going to give me 10 pounds. They didn't just make this lighter. So what's the reaction to that? What's that? Yeah, but still I'm lifting 10 pounds of weight. I'm lifting 20 pounds of weight with only 10 pounds of force. So it costs you twice as much rope. Twice as much rope. Good. So if we watch this, I'm going to pull right here. I'm going to pull about six feet of rope. Okay, I pull about six feet of rope. How much did this move? Three feet. Okay, so now that's great, but I gotta pull twice the rope. So that's the give and take of it. Two to one system. I have half of my weight, I divide my weight by two, but I multiply my length of rope by two. Okay, all right, next thing I'm gonna do, can you grab a single pulley from the box, somebody? I'm going to add a pulley up here.
Fingers in the air. What do we got? Okay, got some three to ones. Got some two to ones. Okay. Did anything change down here? Okay. If I grab this side and you grab this side, how much weight is on this rope right here? Ten pounds. So we need to start concentrating on the traveling pulley or the moving pulley. Is this pulley traveling or moving? No. no. Ignore this one right now. Is this one moving? Yes. yes. So what is the system? This is a two to one. It's a two to one with a change of direction. Okay. This pulley right here does nothing for mechanical advantage. All it did was change the direction of the rope. So maybe I have a two to one and I don't want to pull up on it. I want to pull down on it. So I just throw in a change of direction and I pull this way. Okay? We'll talk about rules in a little bit, but I want you to try to understand this before we talk about rules. And then we can go with rules from here on out. So, traveling pulley, how many ropes coming off the traveling pulley? Two. 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 Okay. And when I say coming off, you know, it could be tied in the carabiner, it could be wherever, but off of this area, we have two. So now I'm going to flip this over. Now, fingers in the air, what's the system? If you don't know, just put a fist in the air. Okay, we got mostly three to ones and we got some two to ones. Now, we flip the system, okay? And I told you when you flip a system, it makes a difference. So how many pulleys coming off of the travel, how many ropes coming off the traveling pulley? You count this one. Yeah, you do count this one. So what is it? It's a three to one. Very good, three to one. So, when I pull up here, and if we, if we had, let's see, two people come up, grab here, grab here, let's lift up. This is a 20 pound weight, how much are we each carrying? Six and a half. Say six and a half, okay, go ahead and put it down. Six and a half pounds, so now I'm only holding six and a half pounds in this hand. Six and a half pounds, that's nothing, but what's the takeaway? three times the rope, okay? So remember I, when I did like six feet into the air the first time, I go here, okay, I even went less. So if I pulled six feet, how far am I gonna go off the ground? Two, two, two. two feet, okay? Now, I'm gonna add a double pulley up here. What do we have? Three to one with a change of directions. You getting this? Sure. What is this? With a nice three to one with a change of direction. So this is a 60 pound weight. Pretend it's a 60 pound weight. How much weight am I having to pull? 20 pounds. Good. Very good. 20 pounds. I know when I put you on the spot, it's hard to do to do some math like that. But what if it's 30 pounds? How much am I going to pull? 10 pounds. Good. If I want to pull 10 feet of rope, I want to pull this weight 10 feet. How much rope do I need to pull? 30. 30 feet. Good. Okay. Three to one with a change of direction. Okay. You probably know what's coming, but we're going to flip it. We got fingers in the air. Let me see. Good. Four to one. 20 pound weight. This is a 20 pound weight. How much am I having to hold right here? Five. Five pounds. Yeah, this is nothing. Five pounds. But what's the takeaway? Four times, four times the rope. Okay, four times the rope. Okay, now that y'all are getting it, let's talk about a couple of rules. And we know we can look at a traveling pulley. The traveling pulley may be over there, may be horizontal, may be vertical, but we know whichever pulley's moving, one, two, three, four, we count those. Okay, unless this is way out of line or something, but if it's in line, we're good to go. What did he tell you in the, in the classroom about even and odd and something? Not where the knot goes. Okay, good, so where the, where the knot goes. So what did he say about the knot? Even goes away from here, the other knot goes on your Okay, even goes where? Say it again. To your anchor. Okay, even to the anchor. So this is an anchor, it's what we would consider an anchor. This is what we consider a load. Okay, so 
I'm going in, is it an even number? Four, we said four. So that, that can kind of confirm it for you. If you're looking at mechanical advantage, if it's a simple system like this, you just say, okay, well I have four, that's an even number. My knots at the anchor, okay, that confirms it, okay? Come up with a way to remember that because you'll forget next week. EA, EA Sports, whatever, OL, come up with something so that you remember that next time. So um, next thing we're gonna do is add another pulley. What do we have here? Four to one, one to change in direction. Good. Four to one, change in direction. All I did was run this through an extra pulley. Four to one with the change of direction. Five to one system. Everybody get that? Five to one, I didn't ask you, but I think you had it. Five to one. One, two, three, four, five off of the moving pulley. 20 pounds, how much am I having to pull? Four pounds. Four pounds. Good, but if I want to pull this 10 feet, how much am I gonna have to pull? 50 feet. 50 feet, good. All right, so we kind of getting that on the simple system. Okay, next we're gonna to move to, a, to compounding the system. And what is this system? Three to one. Three to one with a change of direction. In this case, I wanted a change of direction because I want to pull down this way when I compound. So compounding. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take an anchor over here and I'm going to grab onto this rope. So this could be a situation you, you planned it this way or you start to pull and you're like three to one is not going to work, but we're kind of committed. So we can add to this, we can grab onto this with another system and help ourselves. Okay. It's tied off there. This pulley is going to be the traveling pulley. What is this system right here? Two to one. This is a traveling pulley. A lot of times we get so stuck on vertical systems, but we also have to think about it horizontally. So this is a two to one. We got two strands, whatever weight's here, split in two. So I'm going to add that here. <clears throat> now, how much weight is it by this let's call this a 60 pound weight? 60 pound weight. Okay, I'm pulling 20 pounds. Everybody good with that? I divided it. One, two, three. I'm pulling 20 pounds. Now Somebody walk up real quick. Pull, hold that. I'm gonna hold this, let's pull together. Okay, stop. How much is he holding? Ten. Does everybody agree with that? He's holding 10, I'm holding 10. We took this and split it in half. Okay, so go ahead and let go. All right, so if that's 10, how much is in my hand now? 10, 10 pounds. So I took 60 pounds and I, I turned it into 10 pounds. So what is this system? Six to one. 60 pounds turned to 10 pounds, divided it by six. So I made this, this is a six to one system. Now, what did you, what'd you learn in the classroom? What's the rule? Compounding. You multiply. Yeah, you multiply, okay? So, and from now on, from this point forward, that's probably all, that's all you need to know. If you compound, you know what this system is, you know what that system is, three times two is six, but I want you to try to understand a little bit of the background of why it actually works and not just know, oh, I just multiply it. So if I were to add a three to one onto this, I would be taking a third of this weight and dividing that again by a third. So I would be taking 20 pounds and dividing it by three. Okay, so what would that be a nine to one? Okay, we call it, you know, six is pounds or something like that. So that would be a nine to one system, three times three. But you can do whatever. So nine to one system, that'd be great. So 
that would be very easy to pull, but what would be the downfall of that? Of yeah, we're using a ton of rope. A ton, a ton of rope. So that would be kind of out of the question. So let's even look at this. Let's just, I'm going to try to get this tensioned a little bit. Now, what is our whole entire system here? Six to one. Six to one, good. So we've got a three to one and we've got a two to one. Multiply that to six to one. Now, I'm going to walk all the way over here. How far to that wall right there? Does so, so 10 feet, whatever. So I walked 10 feet, that thing moved a couple feet. Okay? <clears throat> so you got to understand the give and take when you're, when you're making these systems. Okay? Any questions about what we've done? Okay. So we've set up everything vertically just because that's the best way to learn is vertical. Now most of the time with things that we're going to be doing, we're going to be pulling horizontally. So I want to set up a quick system horizontally so that y'all can see how that's set up. Alright, so now I have a three to one system that I put on top of the rescuer's rope. So we can pull them up, we can haul them with it. So where's the anchor? Okay, the anchor's back there. Where's the load? Yeah, the load's truly out the window, right? But this is the load line, so this is the load pulley or the traveling pulley. So what's this system? Three to one, good. So as we haul, I'm going to haul them up. What I wanted you to see is that it's not always going to be vertical, but you just need to decide where the anchor is, where the traveling pulley is, and count from there. Where's the, where's the knot? At the, at the load. At the load, so it needs to be a... Odd number. Good. So odd number. And just while we're doing this, we'll get way into this next more into this next week. But as I haul this person in, somebody grab this, I might get to a point where I run out of room. Okay? Go all the way back. No, just just let it slide through your hand. Stand back there. So what we would do, just so that you can kind of get an idea of where we're going, now they only made it. We just pulled in a whole lot, but they only moved ten feet. So now this we would set this line so this line doesn't move, hold that tight, and then we would reset. So then I'm going to take this, give me some slack, bring this all the way to the window, and then pull again. And we could do that numerous times. Okay? Because to try to take this system and send it to the ground, we may not have enough rope. Also, as this is going to the ground, it's going to get twisted, it gets all fouled up and becomes a mess. So we'd rather keep everything up here with us where we can fix problems and just let the rescuer be down there and pull them up.